The second control within the business environment uh, function is the organization's place within critical infrastructure and its industry sector is identified and communicated. Now, for anybody outside of manufacturing, the defense industrial base, uh, really the D what the DHS terms as the critical infrastructure sections uh, or sectors, um, this is a less of an important control um, for most. So if you're, look if you're a corporate environment and you're looking to adopt the NIST cybersecurity framework and you look at this control and just it doesn't quite make sense, um, these are one of the one, this is one of the few controls within the entire framework that really have not a lot of bearing on, I think, your overall risk management structure. But if you do sit within what DHS considers critical infrastructure, um, whether it's the defense industrial base or manufacturing, um, right, or, um, you know, aerospace, there's, I mean, there are a, a number of these. Again, much like the first control, do you understand it's your organization's place within these. So say you're within the critical infrastructure, you know, there's energy as well. I mean, there's, there's a number of them. As an organization within critical infrastructure for um, the nation, uh, it's much like the supply chain component. So whatever the critical infrastructure uh, you sit within, you have a responsibility or you sit within making up the supply chain for that is that understood because there are expectations within that critical infrastructure of you and then working with the other organizations that sit within that critical infrastructure, whatever it may be, other companies, private, public, knowing who they are and being able to work with them to be able to support the overarching critical infrastructure is really the goal of um, really the, the birth of the C uh, CSF, the cybersecurity framework itself. Um, but this control really hones in on it. Again, you need to be able to identify your assets, yourself, your roles before you can start making any kind of changes. So having a firm understanding of this becomes very impactful if you sit inside of any of the critical infrastructure spaces so that you can then work with your peers as well as the larger um, you know, uh, sector as it sits uh, within the nation's um, priorities. So again, uh, BE2, if you don't sit within these, and you'll know if you do, probably an easy one to you know um, kind of label as not applicable as you're doing your assessment, um, and uh, maybe just move on to the next.